We'll begin our standing practice by bringing the hands into prayer position, just in front of the chest, holding up the head tall, and closing the eyes and connect to the floor with both feet, all ten toes, holding onto or gripping the floor lightly. Bring your attention to the breath, draw your breath deep into your lungs, gently so. And taking a long, slow exhale while you breathe out, relax your shoulders, contract the abdominal muscle each out breath, a little bit towards the back, the spine, let the whole body loosen as you inhale. And make sure that the inside arches, instep of the feet, insides of the feet, is a strong arch there. And taking in a deep breath, hold the breath for a couple of moments, gently press the hands into each other, feel the power in the arms, chest and shoulders, and feel fully aware of yourself, head to toes, inside out, and on the next exhale, release the hands, out breath, and open your eyes. And gently clasping the hands, lift the arms up above your head, Deep breath, hands, arms like an umbrella above your head, elbows bent, and stretching the upper body, take the shoulders further back towards each other at the shoulder blades. Deep breath, arch the back a little bit, slightly hollow back, lower back, and then flip the palms up, keep the fingers interlaced, and deep breath in into a gentle standing back bend. You can lift the chin a few degrees, and opening up the front of the throat chakra, also feel in the lower back, deep breath as you inhale, you open up the solar plexus, also feel the lower back, root chakra is connecting to the floor, through the legs, and on the exhale, you just simply bring the hands down, breathing out, and let the head tilt forward at a normal angle. From there, place the feet about the width of your yoga mat, and you're rolling with your head slightly down so you can see the roll of your feet, loosening the ankles. Feel your attention sinking down into the thighs, the buttocks, the hips. And most of the practices that we do in the floor, seated poses, uh, connects us to the lower root chakra areas. So feel as you relax into the feet. Your focus is on bringing the whole body into awareness. You're now walking through the length of your ankles just to loosen the feet completely in the entirety of the feet, all the bones. You're standing on one foot for a little while, just balancing. Hold the chest up and open, no tension in the neck. And then just raise the foot fairly high and make one or two rotations to each side, each direction. Shake out the legs, shift to the other leg as you stretching the one foot, looking at the toes move, feel the strength in the other leg, carrying all your weight. And big sigh, out breath, place the feet even wider, a bit wider, maybe off your mat, and go to hang upside down. I'll show you my side view. It's good for the back, especially if your back hurts, to bend the knees a little bit. So letting the head down, feel the weight of your head. And let the head dangle there at the bottom end or the top end of the spine, bottom when you're hanging down. And then gently from there, raise yourself up to the fingertips for a high forward bend variation. And then placing your hands flat on the lower back, you're forming an easygoing table position. And then from here you can bend the knees and rolling up on the in-breath. Point the elbows towards, uh, towards each other and opening up the chest, leaning into a standing back bend. So you can get a big curvature to the back bend, open chest. As you inhale, you're lifting the head up towards the crown. On the next out breath, you're moving forward, out breath, flat back, and again to the upside down. This time, keep the hands on the lower back, coming up on the in breath, and we're gonna continue doing that exhale to the back. Again, I'll show you my side position, side view. As you're moving down, it's an out breath. You bend the knees as you're coming up on the in breath. See if you can take yourself deep into the back bend. Only caution is to not overstretch the back or neck and hurt yourself that way. 
and then try to get the legs straight going to the back uh, and down and in breath exhale forward flat back in breath and leaning into a big bend to the back stay in the back bend then bend the knees somewhat squeezing the shoulder blades more to the back and together open up the head chest into the neck area lifting up to the ceiling or the sky come up on the in breath and exhale just let the arms and hands hang down forward together with the head relaxing the back, back of the neck so let your head come loose big sigh on the out breath and standing upright on the in breath with the two feet together now you're pointing both palms forward and the hands a little bit raised away from the hips and then somewhat to the back taking in a deep breath long slow exhale through the nose close your eyes again and feel when you take your deep breathing here through the nostrils you're stretching into the fingertips filling the whole body with a breath long strong exhale and then relaxing the arms feel the life force or energy flow through the arms into the fingertips and tucking one foot upside down at the back behind you you're sinking down and down and down you're stretching the top of the back foot again i'll show you a side view so you're bringing down your whole body weight to stretch the back foot and from there just switch to the other side it's a large in breath as you switch exhale you're stretching the back foot and strengthening the front or the top side of the front leg and then from there we're going to further loosen the toes just a quick few moving actions big sigh on the out breath and you place your right foot forward as you balance on that foot you're holding the other foot with both hands you're squeezing the shoulder blades back together the neck has no tension chin's tucked in i'm going to hop around show you a side view again and just like this you can then pull the heel into your buttock elbows squeezing towards each other shoulder blades stretching chest open the head is loose on top of the neck and then from there you can straighten the arms and deeper breath kicking into the two hands with your foot deep breath open up the chest notice your hollow back lower back stretch from here a little bit challenging free the leg and simply hug the knee up on the other side so here you're lifting the back of the neck and you'll notice your lower back goes flat and your lower back arches uh, not arching sorry it actually rounds out to the back opposite to an arch and hug the knee up a little bit more up towards the crown bring the chin down back of the neck long exhale long slow out breath focus keep your gaze fixed so it's a mental focus concentration practice notice the strong foot that you stand on the arch and the five toes and releasing feel the relief the release of coming out of the pose and a big sigh out breath take your time just relaxing to feel how circulation energy life force flows in your body we're going to go to the other leg do the same practice find your balance you can even look at the five toes see that you're lightly gripping the floor find your balance by bending the knee a little bit hold the foot out at the back behind you with both hands open up the chest so in the next deep breath you're relaxing the neck and shoulders long neck pull the heel in deep breath and you've got a back bend back arch exhale work the elbows towards the center towards each other the neck is free of any tension next in breath you straighten the arms to the back kicking into the two hands with your foot deep breath long exhale and the stretch deepens loosening the shoulders more the neck becomes looser and a large sigh out breath and then fixing your gaze and your concentration practice bring the foot free and then up with the knee clasping the hands around the knee loosening the hip tightening nowhere just loosening just about every part of you elbows down towards your trunk head up chin 
coming slightly down, crown rising, and the knee lifting higher and higher. You may for a moment feel that you're perhaps losing your balance. And just focus, relax, soft front foot, free foot ankle. And with another big sigh, feel yourself comfortably balanced. Strong buttock foot that you're standing on. As you release to both feet, you'll feel the result of your practice loosening the ankles again a little bit more. And a big exhale, breathing out through the mouth. And from there, place the feet again, just on the edges of your mat, your yoga mat, you're bending the knees, and you're just sinking as low as you can. Your arms relaxed. Make sure that your back, your lower back isn't hollow. The hips are loose and your feet are rolled onto the outstep with the knees more or less above the feet. Big sigh, exhale, you're sinking as low as possible. The out breath will always take you lower down into the practice. Deep in breath and you come all the way up. From there, place the feet wide, fairly wide, five point star. Arms coming up to shoulder height. Deep exhale, lift the hands a little bit higher and relax the shoulders. From here, we're going to be doing a standing twist. So you're lifting the crown, tuck the chin in somewhat, and you're going to be stretching from left to right. We're breathing out, exhale, your hand comes down to the outside of the ankle, and you're looking up at the top hand. Both legs are straight, let the lower shoulder go down towards the floor. The chin tucked into the top shoulder, you're reaching into the fingertips. And in your next in-breath, you swing up slowly, all the way upright, exhale here. And you can do the same to the opposite side on your next out-breath. Going down on the out-breath, looking up at the top hand, reaching up and breathing. Exhale, reach up, breathe, uplift your hand. And only on your next in-breath, you swing up to five-point star. And now we continue just lightly moving down, exhale, breathing up in breath, feel how the breath drives the movement and also how the breathing determines the speed of the movement. So it's out breath down, make sure that you fill the lungs fully at the top before breathing down in the exhale and you're stretching symmetrically left and right sides. And you're feeling the hips and inside thighs loosen. And then importantly, be aware of the insides of your body. How you're stretching down and up, giving your body the trunk an internal massage. All the organs benefiting. As you move, there's a light cardiovascular exercise value practice happening. Last round. Next round, coming up on the in-breath. As you go down, stretch a little bit slower, a little bit deeper, a little bit longer. And coming up on the in-breath, we'll do the same on the other side, the last side. Exhale down, stretch low, reach up to the top hand. And when you come up, it's a large in-breath. And you bring the hands down on the out-breath. You bring the feet together on the next breath. And you're just standing up tall, in your tall upright position for a good few moments, closing your eyes. Become aware of the crown, top of your head, and there, the crown chakra. Become aware of the two nostrils, breathing in and out, mouth closed. Become aware of the long back of the neck, relaxing, loose, heavy shoulders, standing on both feet, Accurately feeling ankles, toes, insteps, and deep breath. Open up the chest, just breathing, and contracting the abdominal area on the exhale. Feel the flow of energy through your body. And then slowly open the eyes. So the next practice we're going to do, same standing on both legs. You're going to uh, close the one nostril off. So you use your thumb on the one hand, doesn't matter which. You close the nostril. 
spread the fingers and then spread the other hand. So the aim here is to get both arms strong and to get a strong focus. Your eyes are open and you fix your gaze in one spot. You're breathing in and out three, four times through the one open nostril. Just breathing. So you're applying firm concentration, continue breathing. Both lungs fed through just that one nostril. Let the breath be long, slow and strong. And as you relax, both hands next to you, close your eyes, breathe in and out. Soft sigh out through the mouth. Feel how different it is to breathe out through the mouth as opposed to the one nostril. And just sway a little bit left and right or stand more or less quietly still. Feel the body loose and be attuned to how the life force flows inside your body. And open the eyes, take a large breath and another soft sigh out through the mouth. We'll do the same on the other side. So you're breathing in, deep breath through the one open nostril. And then as you're using the arms, as well as your abdominal muscles, strong mind. Get all the air in the two lungs out of the one tiny nostril. Strong mental focus. You're working fairly disciplined. As you're doing very specialized work. And one more. Breathing out as well. And as you release the position there, just relax the arms next to you, close your eyes, breathe out a soft sigh, and relaxing, feel how each aspect of your body energetically and physically, physical circulation, and energetically feeling your nervous system, the flow of life force in your meridians or nadi, and also not just energy flowing into your lungs directly through the breath, but also directed into your body via the chakras. Deep in breath, big exhale, and as you breathe out, place the feet again, the width of your mat, and then wider. Or you can stand along the length of the mat. We're going to do triangle pose. So I'm first going to show you what the triangle looks like from the side. You're going to point your right foot, raise both arms, the back foot pointing towards where you're looking with your hands, uh, with your eyes, sorry, across the hands, and you're going down in the out breath. You're looking down at your shin, and your hands sliding down to grip there at the ankle. You turn the head to look up at the top hand. So it's important to keep two strong arches and keep the front leg or the straight leg slightly bending or unlocked. Breathe there. One or two, three more deep breaths. Exhale. And you're reaching out gently with the top hand. On your next in-breath, you come all the way up and then exhale. So I'll show you the front view as we go to the opposite side. So as I said, the feet along the length of the mat. And you're turning your foot back foot pointing in the same direction. That foot should be aligned with the back foot. It's heel in the middle of the foot at the back. You're raising the arms to shoulder height. You're looking across the direction that you're stretching into. Lean there, lean there. After leaning to the maximum, you take the hand down just above the ankle. See that your shoulder is aligned with the knee and the hand. Look up at the top hand. It's a deep breath. Reaching up there. It's open chest, open hips. Breathing and exhale, strong core muscles, two strong feet in other words, strong core muscles, that's a major aspect of your triangle, it's the base triangle that you stand on, deep breath in, big exhale, smooth breath, and drawing yourself up all the way on the in breath, to five point star, place the feet parallel, bring the arms down, and then slowly walk the feet to just a bit wider than the hips. And from there, just hang to relax upside down. Big sigh, out breath, let the head hang free. And here, 
Let the head swing loose. So there's no tension in the neck. And your spine actually loosening all the way out of the lower back. Back of the legs stretching. If you could know sore back or chronic back problem, you can nearly straighten or straighten the leg. And then from there, just fold the legs under you so that you go down to seated position. So once you find yourself on the floor, just closing the eyes, let the arms relax, fiddle, fidget if you need, and then just sit still with your body tall, upright, and scan through your body to feel how you've loosened and where you've loosened, possibly where you feel tight or not so active, or activated. Drawing in a deep breath, big sigh out, and going into stillness within Draw your attention into the lungs. As you breathe out, feel how the breath that you inhale is now flowing, the energy that gets left behind in the body, or absorbed by the body, is flowing inside you. Breathing out the toxins that's come up into your bloodstream from the practice. And breathing out with a soft sigh and exhale. Rest for a couple of moments before breathing in. And on the next large exhale, soft sigh through the mouth. Again, sit still for a couple of moments and then slowly open the eyes.